I want to make a frisbee launcher. You know, something that you could like feed frisbees into and uh, run out to catch them and it'll shoot them to you. And uh, you don't have to have any friends. <clears throat> so I've been thinking about how can I make something throw a frisbee? What would be the mechanism to do that? And I remember this Mark Rober video where he made this robot to skip rocks. And that seemed like a good place to start because skipping a rock, you know, it's, it's pretty close to throwing a frisbee. You just got to make something spin and fling it out. Uh, so he used a clay pigeon thrower, which is a thing that actually has an arm that flings it out. Uh, kind of like you would maybe throw a frisbee. And he also happened to go over his build process in the same video, uh, starting with research. Well, good job, me. I started out by watching a Mark Rober video as research. But then he also talks about looking at patents and papers and talking with experts to optimize exactly what he's building. And like, that's no fun. I mean, where's the innovation? To quote Dr. Ian Malcolm, you read what others had done and you took the next step. Is that what inventing is all about? Is that what America is all about? Where would we be if Tesla had just taken designs from other people's patents? I mean Nikola Tesla. Or if Isaac Newton only copied other people's ideas about physics. Or if Alexander Graham Bell hadn't created the telephone, a brand new piece of technology that, uh, oh wait, um, maybe a bad example. Anyway, the point is I'm not Mark Rober and I'm just making stuff for fun. Forget optimizing and making it perfect uh, and all that. I'm just gonna throw some parts together and see if I end up with anything that works. So I actually did do a little more research. I think I'm gonna use something kind of like a pitching machine. The way that works, uh, depending on how nice of a machine you get, there's either one or two spinning wheels. Um, so let's just assume there's two and the wheels are spinning and then a ball approaches the middle and it gets accelerated by the spinning wheels and shot out of the machine. Uh, similarly, in one with only one spinning wheel, it gets accelerated by that wheel, and on the other side is just a wall, something to, you know, squish up against so that it can still spin it and throw it out of the machine. The idea would be that over here I put a spinning wheel, and over here it's just a wall, and then I have a ramp that's going to feed the frisbee down, and eventually it's going to make contact with the wheel, which is going to start spinning the frisbee, throw it out, and then the frisbee should retain that spin. Uh, which will allow it to fly. So that's the idea. Forget the rest of the research. Let's just see if it works. Attempt number one. I got this tire from Harbor Freight for like seven bucks. I went for the grippiest feeling rubber tire that I could find there. Knocked out the bearings. So my plan for right now is I got some pipe fittings. I'm gonna mount one in that hole, uh, reduce it down, and then put this guy on here. And this is gonna create my axle. And rather than buying and using a motor, for now I'm just gonna to try to attach that whole thing to the drill. So that's gonna spin the tire. And I'm gonna feed the frisbee through. It'll make contact with the spinning tire and hopefully be launched. Okay, so this approach may not work out for me. Uh, here's the problem I'm having. Because this is a threaded connection and because the drill has a break when you release the trigger, the drill stops immediately. The wheel, which is fairly heavy, has enough momentum to keep turning and undo the threaded connection here. Um, so maybe I could weld that together or something. Uh, but I'm also thinking that if I used uh, maybe a corded drill or a drill that just didn't have a break, this wouldn't really be much of an issue. Then again, I don't want to launch this wheel at somebody when I'm testing this thing out for real. I don't like the idea of having a brake on the motor. Seems like even if I got this thing to be uh, sturdy enough, the momentum of the wheel is potentially going to damage the drill over time. So yeah, back to the drawing board. Okay, Mark, fine, I'll do it your way. I did some research and I found a motor that will probably accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And I also looked into the proper way to attach this shaft to something like this wheel. I mean, I'm still gonna have to rig a little bit of it up myself, but maybe now I can actually put something together to see if this thing's gonna even function in the first place.
first attempt at spinning the wheel. Yeah, I don't know about that. Alright, this is what I came up with. Holding the wheel on this little bracket I made. The motor under here going through a bearing to try to stabilize some of the wobble. The whole thing is powered by this handy little drill battery adapter and I'm using a PWM controller to control the speed, which I don't need much of. So the idea is Frisbee's gonna come through here. This guy's gonna hopefully fling it out with some spin on it. Okay, let's give it a test. Doesn't help that my Frisbee's kind of warped. Okay, clearly the Frisbee's just going underneath the wheel every time. Okay, version two, as you can see, I added a top and I extended the bottom I'm using foam so that there's a little give. I feel like that might help things. Um, but yeah, now there's nowhere for the Frisbee to go except into this wheel. It can't bounce up or, or down or anything like that. So uh, we'll see what we get. foam come loose. Let's try that again. So it launched it maybe five feet. Didn't really put much spin on the frisbee. Okay, so I don't think it's gonna get any better than that. What I'm thinking the problem is, is maybe the size of this tire. Okay, so it's not really that big. So it's only in contact with the tire and the Frisbee, you know, that much. I'm just thinking maybe it's not enough to get the Frisbee spinning like it needs to be. I don't know what else to try with this setup. I'm taking one more stab at it. I was thinking maybe the foam underneath was uh, causing too much friction and that was causing my frisbee to lose spin. So now we're going with on one side here a uh, piece of metal and on the other side it's just wood because I don't have enough metal to do both. But let's see what happens real quick. That was maybe the smallest possible improvement. <laughs> Might just need more power.
Well, it didn't really work. I think that it's possible that it could work. Uh, like I mentioned, maybe a larger wheel so that uh, there's more time in contact with the wheel spinning the frisbee, so the frisbee will really get a better spin. I don't know if I need to continue working with materials to reduce friction. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure. And the thing is, there's only so much time in a month, and I only have so much money to throw at these projects. So for now, I think I'm going to call it a day on this one. In the end, I learned a lot. I would say that the mechanical side of what I work on is really one of my weak spots, so I got to grow a lot in that area during the production of this video. Maybe one day I'll come back to it and try to make a frisbee launcher that actually works, because really I had so much more in mind for this thing. I really wanted to have the throwing mechanism sort of independently attached to the base so that it could uh, change tilt and uh, roll, uh, but basically change the direction of everything uh, so that you can maybe launch uh, you know, curved frisbees or launch your frisbee up at an angle, and then also have some kind of auto feeding mechanism with like a conveyor belt pulling the frisbees up to the wheel uh, so that you could maybe have an app or some other controller that you could just push a button, launch a frisbee, push a button, launch a frisbee. Uh, and I think that would still be a really cool thing if I could get it working, but like I said, I just don't think it's gonna happen right now. My project list is just getting too long to keep putting all my time and energy into this one, so I'm gonna move on to something else. But hey, maybe you could come up with an idea to make this work. So if you have any thoughts on what I could have done better, please share in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build at least one thing per month right now. So hopefully there's lots of cool engineering stuff you can enjoy. And I hope you had fun watching me screw this one up.